Hi guys, so it's six o'clock in the morning and I've been up since about three o'clock. Uh, for some reason I just couldn't sleep so I just got up and edited some YouTube videos and kind of made a plan for today and got my planting um, plan down for uh, I always forget where it's, it's the weirdest thing. But I got my <laughs> I got my planting planned down for July and August for basically for my fall garden. And um, I've just been sitting here hanging out with these little kitties. Look at them. Got the three little babies hanging out with me. But it's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna show you. You can hear the chickens, but I'm gonna show you what it's outside. Sun is up, it's not too hot out. There's a little bit of fog this morning, but it's just a beautiful day and I'm really excited to get outside and work. So my plan is to finally take care of the tomato plants today. Um, I have the whole week off, so I don't work again until Saturday, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for today. I have some other stuff I'm gonna do, but the only thing I'm going to do on YouTube is take care of the tomato plants. But, so I'm gonna go in the house and get ready for the day. And I will see you guys back here, or actually I'll see you over by the tomato plants in just a little bit. Hi, so this is my mess. I gotta trim all this up. I gotta pull up this black fabric, pull the mulch back put the boards in for the to build up the tomato thing I need to trim up the tomatoes but first I'm just going to get this all cleaned up the area where the tomato plants are planted is pretty hard ground so I'm going to raise the bed and add some soil so the roots have better development so I just put these boards in with these little stakes um, it's going to be a temporary bed, so I didn't want to do anything permanent, so I just put it in there with stakes. It's not perfect, obviously, but uh, it's going to work. It's going to serve its purpose. Um, I have some azomite that I'm going to just sprinkle in here. <clears throat> and I have some, this is just rabbit droppings. There's a little bit of hay in there. And I'm just going to dump some of these in there. And then in the wheelbarrow here, I just have some dirt that came from the tree that I remulched and I'm just going to throw that in here with it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and trim up the tomato plants and these ones over here are dead. I'm just going to cut them down. All of my tomato plants have black spots, so I really need to get it taken care of. So in dealing with black spot, um, I am going to trim all of the leaves that have any signs of it. I'm also going to thin out the whole plant and remove leaves so that the leaves are not touching. Uh, it's very humid here, so the water in the morning just stays on the plant for hours and then that creates an environment where the black spot can develop and it just if you leave it alone it's just a mess but you can you can save your plants by trimming all the leaves spraying with the copper fungicide and um, creating some airflow so that's what I'm doing here I'm going through everything I'm also going to do all of my tomato plants, not just this bed. Some of the other plants actually have it much worse than this one. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to focus on today. And I'll show you just little bits and pieces of doing some of the other plants. Part of my problem with my bacterial leaf problem, black spot, is that I have all this overgrowth here and I haven't taken care of it. So it's just holding in moisture. And on the other side of this is my tomato plants. Um, 
So what I need to do is trim all this down, get it all cleaned up so that I can treat this problem. So I went ahead and I cleaned up all the grass over here and I know that it looks kind of dramatic. I took a lot of leaves off, but I really needed to open up the space so that they had some airflow. So I did that to all of the tomato plants. And then over here where I had all the overgrowth, I just pulled up all the grass and I just set these bags of mulch there just to keep it down until I figure out what I want to do. But uh, I trimmed all these up, got all these bad leaves off. I still have to do some tying up. Um, the next thing that I need to do after tying them up is to spray them with a copper fungicide. But I don't want to do that until this evening when the sun's not so hot. So tonight, that's what I'll do. Get it all sprayed. But I think I like, it looks a lot better. <laughs> looks a lot cleaner. So I'm satisfied. So when I spray the copper fungicide, I'm going to get it on all of the stems. I'm gonna get all of the leaves. Um, I just make sure that I get everything all the way up. I'm going to get the whole plant and just so I can make sure that any that is left on there can die. So that's my plan. Maybe I'll do an update video later um, in a few weeks so we can see after applying the rabbit droppings and the new dirt in here maybe these will just really take off I mean they're doing great as far as fruit wise but usually around this time I have a lot more growth but they I think they're beautiful thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video give it the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button bye guys